All right, today we're going to talk about how to test your charger and batteries on your Big Toys car. Uh, right here we're going to introduce you to a voltmeter or multimeter, and they're mostly called a multimeter. Um, these come in different uh, colors and shapes. Um, this one right here uh, was purchased, I believe, at like Harbor Freight for only $9. They range anywhere from $9 to, uh, you know, $100, but nobody needs one any more than maybe $20. Bucks. So. Uh, some settings on here, this can actually test um, AC voltage, like uh, your wall receptacles, uh, your 110 volt, and they're actually good for testing DC voltage. So today we're just going to put it over on DC voltage. I like to personally put it down to just the uh, double decimal point there, that way you can see the fine reading of the voltage. Um, you might want to refer to the owner's manual on the one that you have. It'll have the red and black um, prongs here, <clears throat> and these are actually uh, used to make contact with what you're testing, for example. So um, what we're going to start with here is uh, we have a 12 volt charger for one of the ride-on cars. And I've just got it plugged into an extension cord here. And um, you'll look at the output. It's supposed to put out, uh, you know, 12 volts to charge. It's actually going to be a little bit higher than that. The, you know, they all say something different, but you want it to read higher than 12 volts. That way it'll actually charge the battery. So we're just going to look at the end of it here and uh, you'll notice that it is wrapped in uh, metal here. That's actually one of the contact points. So we're going to go ahead and put the negative to the metal there. And then on the inside, carefully, we're going to go ahead and put that prong inside of there and make contact. It'll actually, this one will fit and slide in there. So we're going to tilt this up um, right now. I'm not sure if this can be seen by the camera, but it says 19.34 volts. And I'll go ahead and disconnect it there. See, it just goes down to nothing. Then we'll reconnect it, 19.3 volts. So we know that this charger is putting out 19 volts. It's definitely gonna easily charge a 12 volt battery because it's above 12 volts. So next, we're gonna go ahead and move to how to test the battery in the car. Okay, so right here we're just going to simply test the battery. In this model, this car has two batteries, but either way, we're just going to touch it to the prongs here and see what the voltage reading is. Okay, so as you can see there on this vehicle, it's 11.89. That's just about 12 volts. So what that means is the battery is actually almost charged or right at, you know, a usable charge, saying that uh, 11.8. If it was down to say, um, you know, eight volts or so, that would be too low of a reading and tell you that there might be something wrong with the battery or it's just seriously dead. So I'm gonna try to hold the screen where it can be seen. It says 11.89. So that's how you actually would test that. Now, what we're gonna do, let me see if I can get this shot here. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and see if I can get this to kind of just set on here. This is kind of a tricky one to do. I actually have to uh, probably get a hand with this one. Have somebody come in and help out real quick here maybe. Okay, now we've got it. So, go ahead and set this up here where it can actually be seen. Getting tangled up with a bunch of wires. So right now it's reading 11.89. This is the charging um, plug. This is the end of the charger. Right here's the charging jack on this particular model. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test and see if there's a fluctua fluctuation in this. It'll be really minor. It'll be a small fluctuation. But when I plug it in, if the charger's working correctly, it should actually show the voltage going up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, you see right there, it went from 11.8 to 11.9. Let me just scoot that down to make sure it can be seen nice and clear. I'm going to unplug it. See the, uh, the voltage fluctuates there. As you can see, it goes up when I plug it in. And then whenever it's unplugged, it goes down because it's just uh, getting voltage from the battery only. Right now, when I plug it in, it goes up. It's getting battery. Uh, it's getting voltage from the charger and the battery. 
So that right there shows you that the charger is actually functioning correct as well. That's another way of testing uh, to make sure that the uh, wires going from the charging port are actually working to the battery. Now we showed you how to test the charger itself in the earlier part of the video. So that's that's how you actually uh, test the charger, the charging port, and the battery. It's just kind of a quick overview there. And uh, this applies the same to a six volt battery, which would be a, you know, a slightly smaller battery, but it still has the same little connectors on it. Uh, essentially, it would say instead uh, six or seven volts. Um, you know, your top reading is going to be like seven volts if the battery is completely charged. And if it's only showing like three or four volts, then you, you've got to be concerned that the uh, six volt battery might be damaged or just completely run down or, or bad. And you want to use the same uh, practice there. So uh, just to make sure that we cover all bases, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch this out real quick with a six volt charger so you can see what it looks like. All right, so now we actually have a uh, six volt charger. This is actually used for the smaller six volt cars. And uh, right here's the uh, end uh, that you actually plug into the car. Let me just adjust the camera real quickly here so you can see the screen. Now we'll go ahead and, and do the same thing. We'll put it on the outside contact here and then we'll go ahead and touch the inside. Let me just get out of the shot of the multimeter okay look at that see right here we're at 8.15 volts so anything above 6 volts means that the charger is actually functioning correctly and is actually charging the 6 volt vehicle now this only applies to the 6 volt uh, vehicle same principle different voltage so hopefully this will help uh, using the multimeter video we'll go ahead and display a a few of these uh, where you can purchase them at uh, really good prices. You can usually get them at most uh, corner stores, auto stores, um, you know, uh, even like your local Northern Tool or Harbor Freight, Lowe's, uh, Home Depot for a really good price. And, and this thing, like I said, it's very handy and can be used for a lot of different things. Like I said, you have the AC here and you can actually test the electrical outlets in your house. So really convenient right there uh, to have that even, um, you know, say around Christmas time uh, with the Christmas tree and everything, make sure everything's getting voltage. So thanks for watching.